What up, YouTube? Ray Ray here, Fabulous Bulldogs, checking in with you guys today. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody's being safe out there. Today, we have a really, really, really exciting day, you guys. I've been keeping it a secret for like the last four days, but my girl Chanel is finally in heat. We've been waiting for this to happen for the last two and a half years. And this girl finally came in the heat about six days ago. And I am so excited. As you guys know, Chanel is the smallest dog on the yard. Um, Chanel is only 35 pounds and she is almost three years old. So she is super, super mini. She's a Merle. She has the great pedigree. She has the chrome. And she also has Chris Brown, which is, uh, which is a dope Merle out of California. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take Chanel in for a progesterone test. She get her first test today. As you guys can see in the back, she swolled up. And I never thought this day was going to happen, but I've been patiently, patiently waiting for it. And it finally happened. And we are excited over here. We are so excited because this girl is a real definition of a mini. She is so small. Everybody who sees her is like blown away when they see her because how little she is. Now, my girl um, Starburst right here. She she's she's a mini as well. But Starburst is a little on the on the thick side. She's more thick, more bone and things. And Chanel, she's just little. She's just the size of a Frenchie, basically. <laughs> this girl is so small. So we're going to take her in for the progesterone today just to test her to see where her level's at. Um, I know she's not ready yet, but I can get an idea uh, basically where we're at so we can basically catch it. Because as you guys know, this is only this is the first time basically I've done a progesterone test on Chanel because her heat cycle is all over the place. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Is we're gonna take Chanel in to get a progesterone test. Everybody's doing good. Starburst is doing good. She-Ra is doing good. I'm gonna let you guys check her out. She is turning out amazing. Just like I said, look at Starburst right there sniffing behind her. That's, that's also an indicator that your dog is coming in heat when you have other female dogs around. I have no males, but when you have a female dog around, They'll start sniffing her a lot more, showing a lot more interest in her as well. And Starburst started doing that, and that's when I realized, like, hey, she might be coming in the heat. And uh, about four or five days ago, what's wrong, mama? <laughs> and about four or five days ago, she finally started, she finally started bleeding and things. And so today we're going to go in for the test. Um, a lot of people, um, like I mentioned, you guys... You got to trust your females. I know a lot of people are all caught up on the hype about studs, this, studs, that. And like I mentioned, you guys, it's all about the blood. You know, Starburst, she has a great, great pedigree. And I know the blood. And that's why I bred to, to Solomon. And wait till you guys see She-Ra. Everything that I said, everything that I said it was going to happen, the consistency, the quality, is is all there she is amazing this girl probably she's probably one she is one of my best females on the yard but anyway i'm gonna let you guys check out shira i'm gonna get um get chanel in the car and we're gonna go ahead and go out for a progesterone test and get her first results you guys i'm telling you, if you're looking for a small english bulldog the size of a frenchie 35 pounds maybe 40 to the most she is gonna be it She's small, she's compact, Merle, and we are excited over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. Fingers crossed everything goes well, and she takes, and we have a healthy, successful litter over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. So I've been holding out on the news, so there you guys go. Chanel is finally in heat, so I'll see you guys on the next scene. Peace. All right, you two, I got my girl she right here, and look at this girl. She's coming up on 10 weeks old. And look how amazing this girl is turning out. Everything that I told you guys when I bred um, Star vs. Solomon is totally true. Look at the quality on this girl. Look at the quality. Four times chrome. Four times chrome. Look at the quality. Look at the rope on her. Everything that I told you guys. And I know you guys get wrapped up on the stud. I want to stress, I can't stress this enough. It's all about a bad female. Females are way more important than studs when it comes to production. You got to have a bad, a bad female. 
A lot of people rely on the stud to, to make miracles and the stud can't do it all. The stud's just the icing on the cake. It's all about a bad female, man. I told you guys, Starburst was the truth. Look at this girl right here. Look at this girl. Great rope, great structure, great pedigree. Everything that I said, man, I am so, I am so, so pleased with this girl. I am so glad that I kept her. And I know she's going to do, she's going to do great, great things over here at Fabulous Bulldogs. And, and like I said, you guys, it's all about a bad female. That's why I, I take so much pride in my females. Because females are the are the main thing that 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 do production yeah a good stud is awesome it can bring a lot of stuff to the table but if you have a nice quality female um the stud's just the icing on the cake he's just the icing on the cake but when it comes to production like this like like shira <laughs> it's all about a bad female it's all about a bad female and she is doing amazing. She's coming up on 10 weeks. Look at her, you guys. She's healthy. She's strong. She don't like me to hold her like that. <laughs> she's healthy. She's strong. She's doing amazing. She's getting big, as you guys can see. And I just love this girl. I just love this girl so much. She has a great personality and everything. So there was a reason why she was the, the only girl that survived in the litter. And look at her. <laughs> she loves me <laughs> and and I'm just I couldn't be more pleased and I'm excited now that um, Chanel is in heat see God works in mysterious ways you got to trust God he has a plan I got a beautiful female up-and-coming girl with great pedigree and everything and I got Chanel coming in heat so we got some big things happening over here at fabulous Bulldogs you guys so I just wanted to show you guys Shira I'm about to get Chanel in the car because we're gonna on her way to go get her progesterone test Fingers crossed that her numbers are, like she, she's going up. I know she's not going to be ready, but I hope that she's going up. So I have an idea of where she's at. So I make sure that I hit her, um, that we that we breed her on the right time. So go ahead and stay tuned. Say what's up, she <laughs> Let me go ahead and get a screenshot of my girl. <laughs> go ahead and stay tuned. On to the next scene. Peace. We're in the car right now. Got Chanel in the car. And we're on our way to get her first progesterone test. I'm so excited. It's been two and a half years waiting on this girl to come in the heat. Excuse me, you guys, if I look crazy. I just got off of work. But it's not about me. It's about the dogs. My girl Chanel, fingers crossed, is about to be a mommy. Ain't that right, girl? So stay tuned. See you guys on the next scene. Peace. All right, YouTube, so we made it back to the house after getting Chanel's um, progesterone tests. And as I already know, she's not ready. She's only on day like five or six of her heat cycle. So she's only at a 0 0.2. And normally um, ovulation don't start on an IDEX machine until a five. So we're going to go back on Tuesday to get her progesterone to test her again. Um, hopefully she hit her LA surge and that way we'll go ahead and know where to go. I'm excited. I'm glad I caught it. You know, you want to make sure that you catch it. You don't want to be cheap with those progesterone tests because you, especially a girl like Chanel who hasn't had a heat cycle, you want to make sure that you follow the heat cycle and that you get it down to a science. So don't be cheap with the progesterone tests. And it's summertime out right now, you guys. So another thing I want to mention is make sure you're keeping your, your English Bulldogs cool. Make sure they're in the house with plenty of water. A lot of people have been losing their dogs lately, leaving them outside in the heat. So make sure you have them cool with plenty of water and keep them in the AC. Keep them bulls cool during the summertime. You don't want to lose your dog from heat stroke. So I'll go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button and that bell notification so you guys can stay updated with more videos from Fabulous Bulldogs. Fingers crossed everything goes well. And we have some beautiful mini English Bulldogs on the ground for my girl Chanel within the next couple of months. God bless and have a good day. Peace. Oh.